Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. When you refer to something as junk, it makes it sound like it's pretty useless, like it belongs in the trash, right? But junk bonds are actually really popular. In the US, companies borrowed $300 billion in the junk bond market in 2014. That equates to 5% of all of the lending done to corporations that year. Not too shabby or too junky. Now in the bond market, junk is actually just a slang word for high yield. Yield, of course, being what an, an investor gets in interest when they make an investment or make a loan to a company by buying their bonds. And you know the old adage about risk and the reward? Well, the more risk an investor takes by lending to a riskier company, the greater reward he or she is gonna get in the form of higher interest, a higher yield. Now, when you buy into the junk bond market, when you lend a risky company money, when you buy a junk bond, it's kind of like buying a truckload of old computers, hoping to get the gold out of them. Did you not know that there's gold in computers? Well, there's gold in some computers. And you might find that some of these computers have indeed got little bits of gold in them, all right? And you may find that the first few actually yield quite a bit of gold. But in the end, of course, you find that a lot of these other computers have got no gold in them, or maybe they're full of heavy metals or whatever. So it's a risky business. On the other hand, you could find that all of these computers have got traces of gold in them, in which case you could end up with a nice little bag of gold at the end. It's going to make you very happy as an investor. Rather than talking about computers, let's talk about companies. Right? Companies can be risky too. Sometimes they're involved in risky businesses, sometimes they're involved in risky sectors, sometimes they've got too much debt, whatever it is. But if you invest in one of these companies by buying their bonds, effectively lending to them, then you're gonna get a nice big interest payment at the end of every month. Unfortunately, if these companies are poorly run, you might get one or two or three monthly payments, but then the companies might kind of run out of gas, run out of the ability to make those interest payments in which case you're gonna lose your investment or potentially. On the other hand, these companies could be very well run because they're making that nice big interest payment every month. If they manage to keep making it throughout the duration of the loan, then you get your money back at the end. Well, then you've turned out with an investment with a very nice high yield. Now, high yield companies are risky. So the bonds that they issue, those junk bonds, come with low credit ratings. Unlike investment grade loans, investment grade bonds, which have a higher credit rating because they're a safer bet. And let's not forget that investing in any kind of security is a bet. Just like buying a truckload of old computers hoping to get gold out of them is a bet. On the one hand, you could turn out to be really lucky. Your bet could come in and you could end up with a big bag of gold. On the other hand, you could end up bruised, poisoned, potentially very badly, needing a drink.